Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of the Crystal Palace Rebuild. In the first episode, we managed to bring in Brennan Johnson and Carl Walker-Peters and get a draw to Manchester City in the first Premier League game of the season. But now that we're all caught up, let's get straight into this episode. And as you can see there, we've sold Joel Wall as he just wasn't up to our standard. But as quickly as we get rid of someone, we bring someone in. As we've signed Elias Cher from QPR as a backup winger and midfielder. So hopefully he can do the dirt for us. But let's see how we can do. We'll get straight into a game, no messing about. This is how we're going to line up for a away game against Brentford. Hopefully we can get the win. Let's see how we do. But the first big chance falls to Brentford as they throw on goal early doors and they've made it 1-0. It's an awful start. 18 minutes in and we're 1-0 down to Brentford. We desperately need a response. But we have a chance now in the 24th minute. Play a nice little 1-2 down the line. But can we get it in the box? And we find Edward, but can he finish it? And it's off the bar. That's so unfortunate. It's great play from us though. We have a chance late on now. And we're through on goal. Surely this is it. And it is. It's an equaliser in the 70-something minute. What a time to equalise. What a goal that is. In the 71st minute, Elise produces the magic. What a finish. A great little counter-attack as we just completely expose their defence. That's exactly what we needed. Perfect way to respond. And that is game. We'll take that one all draw away from home to Brentford. That's two draws from two as the season starts. It's not an awful way to start it, but we do need to get a win on the board at some point soon. So hopefully that can be the next game. Let's jump straight into it. We now face Cardiff in the EFL Cup. We're going to sim this one completely. We've put a completely different side out. Let's see how we do though. And we get through on pens. We scrape past Cardiff. 5-4 on penalties after the game was 2 all. That's not bad at all. And we're back to our strongest team to play Chelsea. We're at home, so hopefully that's enough to see us get the three points for the first time this season. But let's jump into this. Early in the game, though, they find loads of space as a Bamiang doesn't even play for them now. It's through on goal. And what a finish that is. There's no chance we're saving that one. We're 1 0 down already. And just after that, they get another chance here. It's good play from them, but it's really poor defending as a Bamiang finds more space. And oh my god, he somehow bettered his first finish. That is an unbelievable strike from him. I'm not sure how he's just done that. And we find ourselves 2-0 down at home as well. That is awful. And that's game. We don't even really get a good chance worth showing you. And it's awful, to be honest. We can't be conceding two goals like that. I know Chelsea are a good team, but that is way too poor. But let's jump straight into the next game. And we need a massive bounce back from that. This could be our first one of the season. We're away to Fulham. It's probably our easiest game so far. We've got a really strong team out. Hopefully it's enough to see us get the three points. So straight into this. Come on. But it doesn't start well. As the first highlight is then with a penalty. But it's saved. What a massive save that is. William could not convert it. And now we have a penalty. 65th minute. And we score. We don't make a mistake. We're 1-0 up. We've taken the lead. For That could be the first time this season potentially I think. What a way to do it. 1-0 up. Can we hold out though? Uh, we need a three points massively. And we have another chance now. They've committed way too many people forward. Can we get the ball across? Great pass. And it's 2-0. Surely that's it. Surely that is it. Late on, 2-0. First win of the season. It must be secured now. I've even ran up to celebrate with them. All the subs have. This is massive. We've had a good start. We've had a couple draws. One loss. So we needed a win here. We couldn't go four games without a win. And it looks like we've got our first one of the season right here. And we have. It's confirmed. A 2-0 win. Away to Fulham. It's not the easiest game we'll have this season. But we've managed to get three points. Which is all that matters. Hopefully we can carry this over on into the next game. Let's get straight into that. And after that win. We're now at home to Wolves. It's the same lineup as before. Can we get six points from two games? Come on, Palace. And we get the first chance, which is coming in the second half as Johnson plays through Edward. Can we get a goal? It's a great save from the keeper. But other than that, literally nothing happens in the game. It's a boring nil-nil draw. It's one we have to take, sadly, as we were not up to scratch at all. And the last game of the episode comes against Liverpool away from home in the EFL Cup. We have not got our full shrimp team out at all and it'd be a tough enough game even if we did. But we do see Eli Share come into the team for the first time. So let's see what he can do and hopefully we can cause a big upset here away from home. And we've done well so far. It's in the second half now. There's not been too many chances but we get a good chance here as there's a great turn and we're through on goal. 
Oh, we try to go round Allison, but we can't pull it off. But we get another great chance here as Liverpool's defence is all over the place. Once again, we're through on goal. We go for the chip. It's a great save from Allison. The rebounds into the side netting. And just like this, 84th minute. Oh, and we are 1 0 down due to another silly penalty in the 84th minute. And that looks like we're going to be knocked out of the cup after playing really well. Two massive chances as well, to be honest. Either of them should have been scored. Should have been 1 or 2 0 up. So even if the penalty still happened, you know, it doesn't matter. And that is game. That's where we crash out of the Carabao Cup. 1 0 away to Liverpool. It was always going to be a tough one, especially with our reserves playing. But we fought well, good performance. And we'll have to take on the chin. But like I said, that is where we're going to leave it for this episode. If you have liked, make sure to subscribe and comment any ideas you have. But until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.